Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Alex. I'm outside Stamford Bridge with Charlie. Hope you're doing well, mate. Uh, yeah, I mean, the players didn't go too well on the pitch. We lost 2-0 against Brentford. Um, I didn't sit I didn't sit next to you. I was in I was in the East End behind the gantry. A lot of tension in the dugout um, between the assistant manager obviously got sent off. Pochettino he looked quite stressed out if I'm being honest with you. I don't blame him because if he can't pick up points against Brentford who I have to say even still are a very good side where can you see the points coming from? That's, that's the big question isn't it? That's three years in a row they've come here and beaten us. You know, I've seen something while I was waiting for this. Thomas Franks won more Premier League games at Stamford Bridge this year than Pochettino and Lampard combined. That's that's mad. Like, I, I don't know what it is about this place, mate. One win in 13 here now. The only home game we've won is against Luton this season in the league. It's pathetic. Maybe we should move away and go play somewhere else, mate, because we're complete shit here. Like, we can't do anything. It's the same script every single time we come and play here. We make, have a good sort of first 20-odd minutes in the first half. We create a few chances. We don't, we don't score any goals. We then give up a chance. We switch off. We concede a goal. And then... They sit, they sit uh, men behind the ball. Brentford had their fucking tents out, mate. They could have got their marshmallows and their campfire out. They were camped out in that half, mate. And we did nothing. Just nice little sideways passing all in and around the box, doing absolutely fuck all. It's the same thing every single time. And it's pathetic, mate. It was embarrassing today. It was spineless, no fight, no desire, no nothing, no ideas. It, just, it was a complete joke. Do you not think it's harsh to say that there was no desire? Because it's not a well, lack well, of effort, it's just a lack of quality at the end of it. Well, well, where was the effort today? In that second half, where was the effort to try and make something happen? There was none. All it was, mate, was passing back, passing sideways. No balls into the box. No, no nothing, mate. Like, where, where, where was that effort today? I'm not saying they didn't try, but where was the effort to try and make something happen? Where was anyone other than Cole Palmer who tried to, like, pass the ball forward and make things happen? What was everyone else doing today? Everyone else was bang average today, mate. Off, offered nothing. Like, what, what, what can we, who can we say was good today and actually made, try to make something happen other than Cole Palmer? No one in an attacking sense did anything. I thought the setup was wrong from the start. Obviously, I know losing Enzo and Mudrick last minute, not ideal. But honestly, mate, Conor Gallagher's not a pivot player. You know, he's looked better, A, against the better teams, and B, when he's a little bit further up the pitch. For me, it should have been Uga Chukwu in, in alongside Kai Seda with Gallagher a little bit further up, and you fuck off Sterling or you drop Jackson and you continue with the false nine sort of thing. So I thought the setup was a bit wrong. I didn't quite understand why De Sassi was at right back. I get it for the height element because obviously we lacked a bit of height at the back. But when you've got two right backs on the bench, what, why? I don't, I don't get it. I just don't understand it, mate. So I thought that was a bit off. But again, just no ideas, mate. No creativity. When you actually look at it, right, when you really look deep down on it, we've got about three creative players in the squad. Cole Palmer, probably Enzo Fernandez, and Reese James when he's on his day. No one else is really creative, mate. We spent all this money and we hardly have any creative players. Now, I know... Kunku? Well, he's not here at the moment, is he? Do you know what I mean? Like, this, this is what I mean. Like, where, where, where's the spark coming from in these sort of games? Where's, where's it coming from? Because I, I can't see it coming from anywhere, mate. Other than Cole Palmer, who, who can't do it all himself every game, where's that creative spark coming from? Do you not think we're trying to move away from that model of, well, not model, because last season was a disaster, but last season we had Jao Felix, for example, who most Chelsea fans would say was one of our best players, and he was the spark, if you want to call it that. But as a team, we just didn't have it. So do you not think it's more of a priority trying to become a better playing team first, and then we can rely a little bit more upon individual billings? Yeah, but when you're playing shit as a team, you need someone to step up and do something. Like, we were dog shit today, mate. Absolutely terrible. Like, it's mad how you can go from one week playing so well against Arsenal to then come seven days later and be so fucking shit. And, I, I don't, like, the, the contrast is so big. Yes, I know we're going to be suited better against playing against better teams so they come out and have a bit more of a go and it suits us better. But the reality is, mate... There's going to be a lot of games where you're going to play against teams of a low block. And if we can't sort that out, and this is not a new issue, this has been an issue for the last five years, particularly at home, we cannot break teams down. We'll create a few chances and we don't score. And then we switch off, laps of concentration, Madweke and De Sassi fucking pathetic at the back stick, let, letting Pinnock in with an, with an easy header. And then as soon as that was happened, mate, they shut up shop and we could have still been playing now and we wouldn't have fucking done anything or created any decent chances. Like, it's a massive, massive problem. And I've been positive about this. So I'm not going to, like, say, oh, it's the wrong manager, it's, we're going in the wrong direction sort of thing. But how many times can we keep saying, oh, it's positive and the points will come when they don't keep coming and we keep fucking it up. How much longer can we keep saying, oh, it's, there's positives to take? Because right now, 
the, the, the table is not looking positive. The points total doesn't look positive. The home form is fucking horrendous, and we're and we're, well, and we're meant to stay here and say there's positives and we'll be all, be all right in a few games' time. Mate, that doesn't wash at the moment. That's not washing because we're not getting the performances or the results. I wouldn't care if the performances were shit and we were at least getting the results, like Man United, for example, playing dog shit but getting some results. We're playing shit. We're playing well and we're playing shit in, in games and we're still not getting the points that we need. So I, I, look, I'm not saying it's going to be fixed overnight, but that team today, yes, we're missing first team regulars. Yes, we've not been able to have a fully fit squad all season to pick a strongest team. But the reality is, mate, in a number of these games, the players out on the pitch have been more than good enough to win and we haven't fucking delivered because we can't do it when it matters. But is it, it, that's all about experience, right? And we talk about having a young squad. Even if we did improve in a couple of games, I, I still think that we'd have another drop and then we'd come up again. It's like I was saying on Lewis's fan cam. It's like last season was just complete capitulation. We went from a, a high spot where we were playing Champions League football, a very successful side, obviously, uh, under Roman and Thomas Tuchel, and we just changed everything, and obviously everything changed. The results went downhill. This year, the way I see it from what I have seen so far, is we're going to make some progress and then we're going to take a few steps back because we're going to keep doing that and Chelsea fans just need to get used to the fact that maybe this season we won't be as consistent as we want to be but it is better than last year and, and we have to try and accept yeah, that that is still a positive you know I hear that but a the bar that's a very low bar it's, be it's better than last year but then b I understand it's going to take time I've always said it's going to take time and it's not going to be fixed overnight when you've got young players whole new squad all these injuries have got etc etc I get that but is that is that is that an excuse for losing to Nottingham Forest at home, losing to Aston Villa at home, losing to Brentford at home, and not scoring a single goal in any of those games? That that's not an excuse to not score a goal away at Bournemouth. Fucking dog shit performance there as well. Like it, we can't keep making excuses for something that just simply isn't good enough. And yes, I know it doesn't get fixed overnight, but you can't you just can't keep sit, standing here and saying, oh, it will come good in time, it will come good in time, and then game by game goes by and we're not getting the points and we're getting fucking battered every. Week. It's not. It's absolutely. I completely agree with you. Call it out if you don't like it. But what I am saying is, then people will go from calling out to saying get out to oh, certain no, players that. and managers. Yeah. No, that, 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 I, I, I understand football's emotional. Some people will have extreme views. I, I'm not. I'm not at that point yet, or anywhere near that point, because we can't. We got to move away from that cycle. But at the same time, you have to accept that what we've seen so far this season, despite largely positive performance, hasn't been fucking good enough. It hasn't been good enough. You know, you look at the fixtures we've had so far this season. I know there's no easy games in the league. You know, you get like the, the league's getting more and more competitive. But like the points we've got on the board, mate, it's not acceptable. And I always said, mate, this run will define whether we're going to qualify for the Champions League or not. We've dropped another three points today, and we're going to be, and that's going to be another, another three points we we drop off those Champions League places, depending on what other what, what results happen. So already, mate, we're in a situation where at the end of October we're fucking relying on other teams pretty much to make sure that we can try and scrape into the Champions League. Like the Champions League is essential this season, mate. You know, once one year becomes two, it could easily become three, and you could be out in the wilderness for a number of years. I'm not saying that's going to happen to us, but already, mate, we're making Champions League qualification a fucking tough ask, and it's not even no, and it's just about to be November. That that's not good enough for the money spent for the quality of players we've got for the quality of manager we've got as well that's simply not acceptable mate and the, the, the worst thing is I don't know where, when that looks like it's going to change yes you know things will get better we have more time on the training pitch and the players get more used to each other and, and, and spend more time with Pochettino but ultimately the games are coming thick and fast now mate we've got the cup on shoot on Wednesday where we need a massive response. Then we go and then our next two league games are Spurs and Man City before before the international break. Can you really see us beating Spurs or City in, in the next two league games? I, I can't I can't see it. And then where does that leave us? That leaves us out of Champions League qualification by the fucking November international break, which is absolutely pathetic. I actually see us playing worse. I, I know this sounds weird. I see us playing worse against Blackburn than any of those teams because whenever we have played a top team, we've actually done all right. No, I, I, I agree with that. We are better set up to play against the better teams. But as I said before, mate, that's fucking useless because there's a lot of teams that are going to sit deep and sit behind the ball. And everyone knows how to play us at home, mate, or just in general. Get players behind the ball, frustrate us, and you're more than likely going to get one point, and we'll switch off, and we'll give, and we'll gift you a goal, and you might get three. Like this is this is where we're at right now, mate. We're there were positive signs last week, right? You feel we made we, we feel we made a lot of progress last week, despite the, the fact we fucked it up, and now you just feel like we're back to square one again with a fucking unacceptable defeat. So, 
like, I sort of feel a bit lost as to where we're at right now. You know, Rhys James don't look fit. We know he's not fit, but what did he offer when he came on today? Not really anything. Like, the injuries aren't helping us. The bench was absolute horror today, mate. What was on there? Uh, uh, fucking Washington, who's not kicked, it's barely, it hasn't kicked a ball for us. Uh, we had Uga Shukwu on there. He's not a game changer. And we had Martin. There's a reason why Martin's been getting no minutes. It's been fucking shit, hasn't he? That, that's, that's why. So, you know. But that's also because he hasn't been playing in the same position. I no, mean, that's no, no, similar no, to Mudric yeah, last no, year. No, I, I, I understand that, but this is what I mean, right? People say we've got a good squad. We do when everyone's fit, but everyone's not fit. When you look at that bench today, what game changes are on there? Zero game changes. You, know, you, you look there and you think, oh, we need something. We need, a, we need, need something different. There's nothing there. We've got two fucking right backs on the bench and a utility player in Martin. There's nothing there. And, like, I don't, I don't say we need to go and buy more players, but. We, if we didn't know it already, today was a prime example. We are so desperate for a fucking proper centre forward. Now, I'm not shitting on Jackson because he's raw and, and, you know, and, and he'll probably get better in time. But this is not it right now. This is not the answer to be leading the line for Chelsea, Broyer and Jackson to try and get a steady amount of goals. I'm sorry, I'm not having it. It's not good enough. It simply isn't good enough. Jackson will get better. It'll be, he can be a rotation player. We are desperate for a centre forward, a proper centre forward that holds the ball up, tries to make things happen. Like, Jackson's just not that guy. Yes, you know, he's good at running with the ball at times and, you know, he's quite good on the turn on occasion. But, I mean, seriously, you look, you look at that front line today, we are crying out for a centre forward, whether it's Ivan Tony, whether it's an Osman or whatever it is. We need some threat up there. There is no threat up there, mate. I think that it's either we get someone in straight away, which is obviously the, the quick solution, or we wait for Chukwameka and Nkunku to come back and we can try and see if we can see a little bit of what we saw in pre-season with the link-up play with Jackson. Yeah but, yeah, but that still doesn't take away the fact that we need a centre forward, mate. Yes, there was good link-up play, but I think the pre-season, as well as Jackson did, I think it con I think it conned us into thinking we were slightly better than than we actually are. Than it, sorry, than he actually was. So yeah, for me, mate, look, I'm not shitting on Jackson. I think he's going to be a good player, and he will develop into a good player for us. But at the same time, mate, you ha like it's so obvious we are desperate for a forward. We need someone that can score goals. Someone that just has a bit about them up there, hold up the ball, bring others into play. We just don't have that today. We just don't have it, mate. We haven't had it all fucking season. So, you know, just today was just a joke, mate. It was an absolute joke. You know, they see the team news come out and then it's a 12.30 kickoff coupled in with the fact we're dog shit at home. It was just a recipe for disaster, mate. And on Halloween weekend, it was a fucking horror show, wasn't it, mate? We, we, were, we were pathetic, weren't we? I mean, how can we take any positives from that today? Zero positives, mate. The only positive I, I had today was I found a quid on the floor in Matthew Arden. That's it, mate. Enough, everything else was shit. And it's the same conversation week after week after week, mate, at home. We just can't get the job done. And the home forms have been a for five years now. Easily five years, mate. You know, remember when we look back and we used to be, what, 80-odd games unbeaten in the league at Stamford Bridge? Mate, we're lucky if we win one fucking game here at the moment. Like, I, don't, I don't understand where it's going wrong, how we fix it, but it's been a problem for a number of years and we've not, it doesn't matter what the personnel is or what the manager is, we don't seem to be able to solve this problem at home where we're toothless and we, off, and we, and we don't have anything, we, we've got nothing about us, mate. So, yeah, it's, like, it's an absolute textbook Chelsea performance today. Good 20 minutes in the first half, create a few chances, don't take them, switch off at the back stick for, for, one, for one moment and then we can't break a team down and, 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 and we lose. And, and, and we just and rinse and repeat. The only good thing is we haven't got to sit on this for too long. We've got another game on Wednesday in the Cup against Blackburn. God forbid we, 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 we win that one and get through to the quarterfinals. Because right now, mate, there's not, a lot of, there's not an awful lot of hope to hold on to at the moment. And, you know, it's amazing how this club finds new ways of making you fucked off and upset about things. But they, it seems every week it seems they seem to find a new way, mate.